Well, hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to the Victoria 3 video. Now, I had a number of people who were asking me in different videos as well as live streams if I would do certain requests for nations, and the answer to that is yes. One of the ones that came to me is a guy who was asking if I could do Denmark, because it is pain and suffering, like a lot. You know, in comparison to Sweden, which is the more powerful state here at this time in the 1800s, yeah, Denmark is um far past its heyday, unfortunately. But it is not a nation without potential, and so I wanted to dive into it and just really see, is it possible for Denmark to reclaim its old glory, to take back the Kalmar Union that was once its? So without further ado, let's dive into things. Now, ah, great, from the very beginning, we're losing money. That's fun. And also, our overall expenses is uh, not exactly great. We're only making 13000 while we are losing 14000 You know, the immediate thing we have to do is raise taxes and also put on more taxes. But still, considering the authority of our state, we are actually going to be able to give a lot of different effects, which is good because we have very few states that we own, as Zealand is the only real state that has any kind of manufacturing in it, and it will probably be the center of manufacturing here. We're going to go to it, and we're going to encourage manufacturing, as well as the greener grass campaign. Simultaneously, Jutland is more than likely going to be the area where we are going to get some resources from in the form of logs, but also agricultural goods. So just to make sure that we diversify this, uh, let's go ahead and focus agriculture over here, along with road maintenance inside the capital, because since this is where we're going to be building the majority of our stuff, it makes sense that we're going to focus efforts there, and we're also going to be building up our resources for wood here in Jutland, so we're going to be doing stuff there too. Of course, we have a grand total of seven construction. We could boost it up by, you know, one or two, rather, if we switch over here to Iron Frame, but simultaneously, unfortunately for Denmark, as is going to be the problem for a lot of this game, we don't have an actual source of iron here in the country. Like, there isn't any at all. We're, uh, we're not exactly going to be able to take out any European states and steal their iron now, are we? Yeah, Oldenburg has it, but uh, we declare war on Oldenburg and we're going to get screwed. Instead, Denmark is actually capable of having a little bit of a colonial empire, so why don't we start to expand our interests? Ethiopia is a great target, as if you remember, around this area, there are a series of iron mines here across Somalia and Eritrea. Also, in 1836, we do actually have Danish Togo. There is a state here. Thus, if we want to, we can go ahead and get some stuff here in Western Central Africa. Probably a great idea, to be honest, because then what we'll be able to do is uh, probably get a secure, uh, secure source of rubber. Let's go ahead and get mechanical tools, because from mechanical tools, we're going to need canneries and then mechanized workshops. We don't have the economy in any way, shape, or form to actually support any kind of uh, universities to help us get our innovation up. So technology will be a little bit slow for a while until we can figure that out. Simultaneously, the states around us are scary. We are going to improve relations with them. The more that they like us, the less likely they are to kill us. Words to live by. And you can already see from our market, we are making dyes, but we, are, uh, we have a couple things that are really expensive, namely clothes. So we're gonna build one more construction sector right there in Zealand. And since we have no source of iron, at least yet, we are not going to develop that. We are going to rely on our fabric and wood that we're going to be using in the meantime and build up a thing of clothes right there in Zealand too. Military wise, what do we have? What do we have actually? Building, development. We actually do have skirmishers. Okay, no, no, wait, no, no. That's line infantry. Crap, okay. Uh, not as strong, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything else down here has a regular. So if we wanted to do something, it's okay. We'll be able to take them on. And in the meantime, let's get things going. A lot of different people may potentially get involved in this. Maybe, maybe, but technologically we are superior, right? Like if I clicked on Gildy right over here, come on. Nine iron mines, that's great. What about this one? Eight, that's four, four. Yeah, this is probably the best state that is in here. Oh yeah, best by a long shot. Most arable land, most resources, most everything. Along with tea and coffee, that's actually pretty nice. What are their barracks at? Yep, those are uh, irregulars. We, we are in a significantly better position. So what we're gonna do over here is go to Gildy. I want to conquer the state and see what it is that we can do. Mobilize all generals. Yes, I understand that it's going to be hurting us for a while, but it's fine. It's fine. We need this right now. Shewa has sided with Galetti. Really? Really? The other states are... Oh, wait, no. Galetti back down. Oh, we got it. That is actually perfect. Yes, we got 101,000 radicals because the entire population here is really pissed that a bunch of Danes just so showed up on their shores and started demanding resources. Wait, are we back in the Viking era now? Well, either way, we secured a source of iron. We are going to wait here to stabilize the country a little bit. We're going to cancel that agricultural production, and instead we are going to focus down here on violent suppression. This is perfectly fine. No worries. We're just violently suppressing the people that we took over. Nothing to see here. And let's get a furniture manufacturing in here going. Okay. 1837, our economy is not exactly skyrocketing, but it is increased. We were at 1.6, now to 2.3. Very short amount of time. It's actually pretty good. Also, oligarchy down to landed voting. Yes, let's do this one. See if we can get some reforms. 
General Staff, Unlost Skirmisher Infantry. Fantastic. Okay, that is going to put us at a significantly higher level to be able to affect things down here. And we'll probably be able to carve out a good chunk of Africa. We really need to get our economy built up before we can do anything else, to be honest. And we are going to go into debt. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. Maybe someone will buy our debt from us. Maybe. Who knows? We will see. There is mechanical tools. Mechanical tools. Now to canneries. Get that going. All right. Yes. Yes. Some things are in turmoil, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Just pay off our debts here a little bit. Get that built up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now these buildings have become way more productive. Excellent. We're going to be able to produce a lot more. Landed voting. Excellent. That is now a thing. Perfect. That means we have political parties, which is totally what every country in this world wants all the time. Anyway, yeah, totally. But we are paying off our debts. We are starting to become a more stable country. Our GDP has now doubled from 1.6 to 3.2. It's only been like three years. Excellent. And I think it's time that we finally start getting our first iron mine going in here. So let's see what we, uh, let's see what we can do. Wait, are these isolated? Dangerous, oh, it is isolated. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't do this one yet. I forgot, in order to actually connect this to the market, we have to build a port, then an iron mine. Okay, I, I completely forgot that was a thing. Central banking, yes. Reduce my interest, get all this going. We're making more money, we're making more money. Let's do it. Oh, Venezuela has declared me as Denmark to be their rival. That, yeah, that, that, that makes total sense. Our first ever iron mine. We are starting to get that going. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. We are actually stopping our states from being isolated. Except for Greenland, which apparently is still isolated, but serves literally no purpose whatsoever as it has nothing here. Iceland at least has some sulfur, so that's nice. And one dude who's apparently fishing in the docks. We just need to improve relations with everyone around us. No one will hate us. Everyone will love the Danes, said very few people in history. All right, with that single iron mine that we now have, that means we can switch over from crude tools to pig iron tools because we're actually gonna consume some iron. Let's see, how much does this make? 20, so the exact amount that we are actually going to need. Okay, so that can switch over to pig iron. We're actually gonna be producing it. Is it very productive? Not necessarily yet, but we are just starting to get this rolling each week. Fantastic. At the same time, build another uh, government capacity here because we, we need to make sure that we have the bureaucracy to do everything that we need. But don't worry, our economy is going. It's getting better. Little Denmark, little Denmark is actually doing so well with its little empire. Look at you, aren't you so proud of yourself? All right, so we've secured iron. Where is coal? Is there anywhere around here that produces coal? Is this genuinely where all the supply of coal is? Just like right over here and that's it? Do I not have anything? Well, shoot, that is gonna be a bit of a problem for me, I think. Oh, well, everything is a little bit of a risk now, isn't it? Let's just do it. Out of 19, we can really start pushing all this up. Yes, we are losing money. Yes, a lot of things are become way less profitable, but we have got to push. We gotta get this going. In fact, we are completely reputable at this point. We have central archives. That is excellent for our bureaucracy. We're going to need that. I feel like expanding my empire over here, you know, just, just for the sake of resources, no other particular reason. All right, there's the water tube boiler. Asa has sided with Margaret, yet none of them are going to end up getting supported. You can't reach anything, Ethiopia. I don't know why they continuously do that. Oh, wow, they actually went and refused me. Not that any of these powers that are all over here would actually be able to support them. We're about to just cream straight through. Yeah, uh, line infantry versus um, tribal irregulars. This is going to be a little bit of a slaughter. France has started to damage her. No, France, please. Quick, I better stop. Don't let them do anything. We're just getting a colonial empire down here. France, please ignore us. It's fine. It's totally fine. All I wanted was the additional iron mines. That's it. <laughs> Raymond, why would you want to go against me? I'm totally reputable. Why would, and no one cares about these little states down here in Africa. Come on, you're Europeans. What do you, why, why do you want to hurt your relations with me? Schleswig damaging relations. No, you are mine. Stop doing that. Damn it. We're going to start improving. We can't declare war on anyone. Please stop. Why, why are you trying to damage me? America, why are you hurting relations with Denmark? I did nothing to you. Don't you take Greenland, you, I swear to God. Isak wants to enter defensive pact. Uh, No, eventually I'm probably going to kill you, my friend. I need more coal. I don't have a source of coal. I know that I am hurting myself by importing it. I completely understand that, but I still have to. Sweden, no, no, please. Everyone stop damaging your relations with me. I'm little old Denmark, I did, did, please. Do I need to actually switch over here to skirmish infantry? All right, fine, fine. We're switching over to skirmish infantry. Yes, I'm probably hurting on everything in here production wise, I, I, I know. All right, we're doing just fine. We're importing everything else that we need and we're, we're getting it going, okay? We're just buying our weapons from everyone else because please don't hurt me. Of course, sewing machine, way more valuable. Economized workshop, way more valuable. Everything become way more valuable. And watch the money begin to pour in, I hope. Ask to become a protector. Wait, hold on. I could become a Russian protectorate. 
that might actually be really useful economy-wise in order to tie myself to something that is a little bit better. And Sweden has a defensive pact with Russia. Okay, well, <laughs> I've found the thing that is kind of going to stop me from being able to do anything. Uh, I cannot go after them because of that defensive pact. That's lovely. And Glassworks, we are going to become completely self-sufficient. Everything in here is uh, designed for everything else. Like, I, I don't know. We're, we're trying to get things going here, buddy. Let's see. With one thing of Glassworks, that means that we can go over here. Or the simple leaded glass, do I have that? No, we're just producing the simple glass. It's okay. The fact that we're producing any glass at all means that now we can go down here to our urban centers and convert to market squares so we can provide more services. No, Isaac, fuck off. I don't want a defensive pack. I will be conquering you soon. In fact, you know what? Just for the sake of cleanliness, let's go ahead and fix this. Time to finish off these African powers over here. Oh, oh, what? Did they back down? Oh, they back down. How lovely. How lovely. Isaac, let's go after you too, buddy. You wanted to be my friend? I did not want to be your friend. We're taking all of Somalia. Or Somaliland, yeah. That thing. Whoa, 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 wait. Egypt? Egypt sided against that? Really? Really? Can I sway any other countries? Is there anyone willing to help me? Oh, one of the little Ethiopian ones. Okay, well, uh, I don't think that they're going to be doing anything to come help you. I'll say that much at least. Yeah, war breaks out. I'm now at war with Egypt, but uh, Egypt is not sending them over anyone to help. So they're just going to get creamed over here. Oh, dear Lord, we are making so much money off of our textile mills now. Damn. And uh, yeah, there's Isaac. We have our full Ethiopian colony over here going. <laughs> yep, there is uh, the war goals. That's all done. War is over. We have our full colony, full state, lovely stuff. It is done. How beautiful that you all can be part of the great Danish empire of Africa. <laughs> and all this, and we're still reputable because no one cared about the little states that were over here. Damn, look at us. 14 years later, our national revenue instead of 13,000 is almost 50. We are raking in the cash at this point. Haven't really done much in Europe besides um build stuff. But hey, look, we have conquered a whole swath of Africa. That's nice. Maybe at some point I will discover coal. For the love of God, I hope that I do, because otherwise I will be in a bad position here over time. They're in a customs union with Russia. Are you serious? I, okay, I don't believe that I'm going to be able to do anything against Russia, but at least I'll be a strong, independent Denmarkian state, okay? At least there's that. Wait, what happened to my king? He has syphilis. What have you been doing, young man? Actually, wait, no, you're no longer young. Retirement home problems, maybe. Hmm. Oh, and I have no access to lead either. Come on. It's like everything Denmark wants, Denmark lacks. Well, in the meantime, let's see what we can do down here and uh, get a little bit more conquest going, you know? All the better of which the Italians had failed to do. We will take care of. There we go. There's that, uh, at least that one state done. Uh, yep. Did it cost us much in terms of reputation? Nope, nope, no, it did not. Oh, Shawa is improving relations. Really? Well, Shawa, I don't know how to tell you this, but I kind of want you to die too. In fact, Barana, it's your turn. Let's see what we can do for you. Great Britain? Great Britain, why would you side against me? Buddy, buddy, you bitch, you utter bitch. Why would you do that? You're supposed to be my friend. Now I have to try and quickly defend myself here and here as quickly as I can while uh, maintaining the British in the south. Come on, come on. Just move in there a little bit quicker. Wipe out the natives. Just wipe out the natives. Oh God, this sounds like a horrible thing for me to be saying. Potentially, there we go. War is over. Excellent. We conquered the territory and it all it cost was a bunch of Danish lives in the south. Oh God, we're gonna need more population here soon. We're, uh, we're kind of running out even as we're going on a little bit of a conquering spree. Antagonistic, why would they be antagonistic? Come on, come on. Nope, Sadamo backs down. Excellent. Okay. We are still all things considered reputable because we're just finishing off these. That That's all. That's all. We're just, we're being nice about it. Okay. All right. Next step, Shewa. I think that we can take you on now. Willow sided against me. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Willow? Where's Willow? Oh, that is there. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. To war. To war we go. You're looking a little big down here, aren't you? Are, is that uh, is that a horn in your pocket? You're just happy to see me. Because, okay, okay, we're getting a little infamous at this point. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. There's no problems. There's no problems whatsoever. We're just going to go and finish some things off is all. Oh, no, Bergbinder side against me. Well, Armagerd, Bergbinder, you're going to die. Oh, my God. Every Everything is getting way more expensive now. Now that we have control over all this territory and the Danish market needs to be consolidated, I think. Ah, ah, oh, my God. So much luxury furniture, so much production, so much money, so much freaking money. And I realize we're running into a situation where uh, we straight up do not have the people necessary to do any of this stuff. Huh. We're going to go with the leaded glass. We're going to go ahead and get that. It's going to make a lot more. And then that means that now we need lead in our market, which we didn't have before. Oh, yeah. And I forgot we're fighting over here to just finish these guys off. Yep. There we go. There's another one done. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. 
Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you? I'm literally. <laughs> Everyone who's confused before my wife just walked in on. Uh, I, I, don't, I can't say these words on the internet. Okay, uh, that is a thing. <laughs> wait, wait, what was the question? Wait, I, yeah, yeah, they're grouchy about a lot of things. Welcome to human history. People have always. Is there, is there a buckle? Is it no? Oh, it's it's like a belt thing. Dang. Okay. Okay. Um, and T Gray backs down. Yep. 1858. Everyone and uh, we united Ethiopia. That's a thing now. Can I release them as a puppet now? I I, I really wish that I could prefer to do that. Uh, no, we're just gonna. Control all this land directly. That, that's lovely. This is going to become the massive headache that I have to deal with for the rest of the game now, isn't it? Well, our uh, GDP may have skyrocketed now at this point. Yeah, we're uh, actually producing quite a lot. And now we have census coverage. Awesome. Because that's what happens when you take over all the resources out of the south with a literal ton of plantations. This is actually ridiculous. We've taken over so many things. We now have the plantations for days to be able to send stuff everywhere. But we have no goods for manufacturing. So yeah, we have secured a ludicrous amount of riches. Now our tax waste is pretty bad, yes, but uh, at least our population is going to start making some money from this, I think. So I suppose at this point, the big question is, with all of my market access issues, with all of my supply issues, with not being able to do nearly as much, but having an economy of 37 million GDP-wise, mind you, Denmark, with the number 10 economy in the world, just a few mil behind Italy, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what it is that I can do next to grow. Netherlands, you are my ally! What are you doing?! Well, okay, well, at least we have cultural exclusion, so that is a thing now. Oh god, France, what is happening with you? You are getting destroyed. Okay, we are we are losing a lot more money than I anticipated. I also have no population to build any of this stuff. I don't have people for this. I don't have any of this. Why do I not have access to any kind of coal? I need coal. Oh god, now there's support for multiculturalism? Really? I mean, technically speaking, this is probably the best among any of them to just get people to be accepted within the country. I will, I will take that. I will take that. Maybe, maybe that'll work. May, maybe. We will see. We will see. I'm losing more and more money by the day here as we're trying to get things fixed. I guess we just keep on building furniture factories until people start moving to, uh, to Copenhagen. Because that's, that's all we can do. Nova Scotia proletariat revolt. Whoa, whoa. We're getting some communist uprisings here. And we're making money now. Hey, rubber. Oh, hey, awesome. At least we're getting some rubber. But I want to find coal. You know what? These states at least have access to lead. We are probably going to end up needing some of that, even if it's a very, very little amount from the looks of it. But that one, ooh, the Cosmid State actually has a lot of lead. Oh, and they're building it up here too. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're going to go, we're going to go over here. We're going to conquer this state. And then from there, we're going to puppet the other things around us so that we can get access to all the markets. Oh, Kathiri back down. Okay, so that happened. Excellent. We now own it. Perfect. They are part of our market. What is the access like? Infrastructure needs a good amount. Okay. Why would France side against me? I'm just trying to clean up Arabia. Come on, man. Leave me alone. I mean, it's not like they're actually able to reach the front line here anyway. So, I mean, we're just going to go ahead and blitz on through, I think. There we go. There's the Kosman State conquered. And uh, am I still at war with France? Yeah, I'm still at war with France. Propose a peace deal. There we go. That's done. We're now uh, we're now out of that conflict, and we've conquered Yemen. Perfect. Now we have Ethiopia, Somalia, and Yemen. This is the perfect Danish empire that makes total sense. Even though we are losing a bunch of cash now at this point, why are the government wages so high? Why? What is what is going on? It's our ports. It's our freaking ports. Okay. Yeah. It's it's all of these. Definitely reducing those expenses. Yeah. We don't need nearly as much from there. Also, get rid of the barracks. Wait a minute. This whole time was I? Did I forget about fertilizer? Did I freaking forget about fertilizer? Oh my God, I forgot about fertilizer. I could have made everything so much more profitable. I'll say this, that is a lot of expense. I think we might actually have to just lower our budget here a little bit. Will people be mad at us? Yes, but uh, we need to get rid of our debt here a little bit, I think. Wait, mercantilism to protect, that would make me more money? Oh shoot, yeah, of course I'm gonna, uh, of course I'm gonna shoot for that more so I can get more stuff off of my taxes. God, I cannot believe that I didn't notice that before. That'll probably be way more helpful for me. Oh god, I straight up don't have any people employed in my farms anymore. <laughs> we straight up don't have the population. But perfect, we have protectionism. That's going to give us way more tariffs, way more money. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe then we can actually raise our government wages again. Get rid of one of these taxes so that we're in the positives on authority. Perfect. We actually have something now. Next, yeah, let's get rid of child labor. That seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. We are in the positives. Yes, here we go, baby. We are finally turning our economy around. Oh, Egypt is siding against me. Hmm, what a funny little thing. What a funny little thing. Well, at least I got France supporting me. 
Well, we restricted child labor, which that at least is a good thing. Um, but this has grown out to be a little bit of a bigger thing. Wait, what is the revolution for? To restore child labor. Really? Okay, fine, 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 fine. We just banned it. We'll, we'll put it back in. We'll put the children back in the factories. God damn. The liberal party is now in charge. Let's see. Is there anything else that we can do? Women in the workplace. Oh, yes, please. If I can get this. 10% workforce ratio. Please, please, please. I need more workers. Women, come into the workplace. Work for me in Denmark. The Danish empire grows, boys. Oh, Zanzibar is free. I did not realize that Zanzibar got free of Oman. Oh, that is hilarious. But we now we are still reputable. That's lovely. That's some lovely stuff, I'll say. I don't think anyone is going to side with Zanzibar against me, I hope. Nope, they back down. They also back down. What does that mean? Well, Zanzibar is now also my puppet. We're just spreading our Danish love across the African and Indian oceans here. I say the African, like the Indian Ocean. You know what I mean. This is just going to become an area of love and respect. Nothing else. Women in the workplace. Excellent. We got it. Perfect. That means more workers. More workers for us, baby. That looks like we had a little bit more expansion on our hands. Spain, arrival. Come on, man. All right, we just need to hold the beaches, wait for reinforcements to arrive, let them throw themselves against me as much as they possibly want. It's perfectly fine. And now we throw ourselves on the attack. And there we go. There's the Marina Kingdom puppeted. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is 1874, and we're doing just fine, my friends. Oh, God. Radical Great Britain. Uh, this is this spells some disaster, I think, over here. Italy, protectorate status? No, fuck off. Oh dear lord, check uprising? Austria, it looks like you're having some difficulties over here. How's that uh, multinational state coming along? Look at this colonial empire that we have built. And yet still, we only have these little states here as our actual incorporated states. It's like we're on a knife's edge the entire game. Oh, hey, look, now it's the North German Confederation or uh, Federation instead of the other thing. Wait, since when the hell did Greece become a puppet of Russia? What what are you doing, Russia? And my friends, there you have it, 1878. Uh, we are the number seven great power. We are officially a great power in the world. There was physically no way possible for us to go after Sweden or any of this because uh, they're constantly seem to be either a protectorate status or in a customs union with the North German Federation here. So either way we'd have to turn, we would end up fighting someone massive. However, Denmark did not play it small. Denmark went over here and decided to go down a little colonial game and take over all the Middle East. Because everyone knows that the Danish people absolutely love sand. I'd say this is the beginning of a burgeoning colonial empire. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Stakui, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, guys.